uh, I was a staff adjuster for Sedgwick for about five years. Before that, CAD adjuster, while I like adjusting and helping homeowners that pay to begin to become stagnant, and even worse, as a CAD adjuster this year. In January, I decided to hop over the fence and start my own roofing company. And since January, four months ago, I've supplemented about 500,000 in unpaid claims, one of which was a full-blown denial that I was able to get to 211,000 approved. Problem in this industry is carry is carriers sending picture takers who are not licensed adjusters. See, it's cyclical. It goes back right. to this. Uh, who are not licensed adjusters to handle the claims process, which should be illegal. They miss damage and aren't trained properly, resulting in skewed data that is delivered to a desk adjuster who hasn't laid eyes on the property. The person inspecting the property should always be the person writing the estimate. It's a little bit long, so I'll, I'll try to summarize this. It ties the hands of the field adjusters, now allowing them to write fully, freely on an estimate how they see fit. Uh, in their experience, they've seen, and just with a few claims in the past four months, they've seen an attempt to save $500,000. So okay. I don't know if it is necessarily a kicking the can down the road. We don't have all the information on these claims that that person has worked. Right. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if somebody was just taking pictures and not getting the good enough pictures to the desk adjuster and the desk adjuster... I mean, at the end of the day, the field are the eyes and ears. And if we've been told that so many times. Yeah. So for the desk to go back and try to write an estimate based on photos, I've taken training classes. Kirk Guy, lovely guy, has made this point to me too because I was guilty of it at one point. Sure, we all Ta were. Taking photos and trying to write your estimate based on it is not going to be as accurate as being in the same room that you're in with the damages and writing that 100. estimate. It is just how it is. You are able to see so much more than the photos show. Yeah. And that's why Exact Mobile is one of the best tools out there. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Straight up facts. Um, guys that, and I love you. I really do. It's right in your estimate, just scoping from your photos. Days later. Days. Right? Oh, that's even worse. I mean, maybe it's okay if you go out in the truck and do it, right? Or yes. maybe that evening. I'm okay with that at the least. But it doesn't take any extra time. Well, it does take extra time, but I think that it's, you know, you, you rearrange, you're basically rearranging blocks, right? So if you're at the house and you've got Xactimate Mobile, which I, I agree, I think it's an absolute game changer um, for collecting data. You can take pictures in it, and we're going to talk about that here in a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, please. And photos are, photos are what, how you back up, right, what you're writing. So you, yeah. you don't, you need to... <laughs> If, if you're just like looking at your photos and you didn't get the full room, then you're not writing what you should be writing. So anyway. Days later. Days, days later. later when you think, you know, this is, and I think I thought this I was like, oh, well, I mean, shoot, I'm going to remember this guy. He's, he's, this guy's, he's got red hair and he's, he drives, he's got a, you know, Corvette in the driveway and, and it's, and it's, you know, this cookie cutter house. I'm totally going to remember this. And a week later, you're not, they, they all blend together. Everybody's got red hair in a Corvette. And, and, and right. time does tend to do that. I mean, details yeah. get muddied with time yeah. and it's just how time it is. is. There's a, you go into a time warp when you're on cat, you look up and it's been three weeks. You're like, oh, wow, where did all this, those three weeks? Cause you're working seven days a week. Right? Yeah. I'm just thankful. I have a calendar that can tell me what days yeah, right? I would not know what day it is. Yeah. It, it is the least of my worries when I've got a calendar. That's what I'm Every focusing day on. Monday. Yes, brother. It's the cat adjust your calendar. It's just Monday, 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 Monday. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't stop until you leave that site. Yep. And then every day is Saturday, right? Yeah. Your scope days are your Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. Or excuse me, your, uh, your, your, the days that you sit and write at home yeah. are your Saturdays. Yeah. Barely. So I think that, you know, to kind of button all that up, a lot of those questions and, and a lot of those comments are, it's, it's, they're sort of suggestive that there's some like nefarious, you know, like conspiracy or there's, you know, people are doing stuff on purpose. And I think the truth of the matter is, is that it's, we shouldn't be assigning to malice or to, you know, in, to bad intent to what can really be more probably realistically explained by just incompetence. Right. Oh and yeah, brother. Oh my goodness. And, and I say that in a, in a, not in like a, a, as a pejorative or like a, a bad word against people, but incompetence being, you know, you're just not that, you're just not com competent enough to to provide the the kind of the, the level of quality, adding that extra 10% in to every part of your workflow, every every piece of your training, every piece of your knowledge and your skill set, adding it, being being very, very intentional about that training, right? Getting yourself, your skill sets. 
Well, because you have multiple skills, right? When you're doing a claims, there's oh, yeah. more than one. It's more than just Xactimate. Absolutely. Um, if, if you don't put in the work on that part, then you're going to be mediocre at best. And that translates into the appearance of incompetence. Yeah. Which you're, you're you know, is, is true. Okay. That was all well and good. But what if you haven't even gotten started yet? You're not quite sure, like what an adjuster license is, or even which one or ones to get. You don't know what gear and tools to buy. Do you even need a drone? In short, you wanna know how to get started as a claims adjuster. How can you start adjusting claims? For money, right? We put together a comprehensive seven video series explaining in detail, step-by-step, step, the complete beginner's guide to getting started as an independent property adjuster. This is where you wanna start, and the best part, it's completely free and you can get started watching it right now at adjustertv.com slash start. In the meantime, YouTube has picked out a special video just for you. See you in the next one.